Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. We are back today with our Premier League predictions for the upcoming game week 23 of the Premier League season. So we'll just jump straight into this. To start off, we have got a London derby between West Ham and Chelsea. I've gone for Chelsea to win by two goals to one, followed by another London side, Arsenal, winning 2-0 at home to Brentford. We've then got a couple more. 2-0 scorelines, uh, Crystal Palace nil, Brighton 2, Brian have been doing so well this season um, in recent uh, weeks just knocked Liverpool out of the FA Cup as well so 2-0 victory for Brighton there and then a 2-0 victory for Fulham at home to Nottingham Forest Forest are going pretty well at the moment but more so at the city ground rather than on the road um, just had the two-legged affair against United where they didn't really lay a punch so I've gone for Fulham to win that by two goals to nil, another side doing really really well this season i've then gone for tottenham to beat leicester by two goals to one at the king power uh, followed by southampton one at wolves one was really really unsure what to go for this game um, but i have gone for a one all draw let me know what you think uh, the scoreline will be in this one big game down the bottom of the league that one um, if either side can win it then it'll really kind of push them away from the other teams down there but I've gone for a one all draw I've then gone for Bournemouth nil at Newcastle 2 Bournemouth to lose 2 nil is one of my favourite um, score lines in predictions they don't score a lot they're not absolutely horrendous at the backs they don't really get pumped a huge amount Newcastle don't score an absolute load but we know how good they've been at the back recently I think they're on like a 15 game unbeaten streak or something so I've actually gone for this as my joker game um, obviously Eddie Howe returning to Bournemouth as well now that I've put it as my joker it probably means Bournemouth will end up winning it but 2-0 Newcastle joker for game 7 I've then gone for Leeds 0 United 2 um, and Man City 2 Aston Villa 1 that was obviously the final game of the Premier League season last year where Manchester City ended up clinching the title but Villa gave it a really good go that day with uh, Unai Emery in charge now have gone for them to score City haven't been amazing at the back this year so I've gone for 2-1 both teams to score and we've then got the um, Merseyside derby I've gone for Liverpool to win it 2-0 I'm really intrigued to see how Everton do under Sean Dyche but his first two games in charge at Everton at Goodison which I'm sure that the fans will get behind him. I will be cheering on Everton in that game because I still don't want Arsenal to win the league. Um, but yeah, tough, tough trip away to Anfield in a Merseyside derby for Deitch. Um, in his second game, I've gone for Liverpool to win 2-0. And then the big one, the first meeting between the two in the league this year, uh, Arsenal against Manchester City. City obviously won in the FA Cup um, last week as of recording this for, uh, for me. But I've gone for a one-all draw. I think it'll be tough for City to go to the Etihad, uh, sorry, to the Emirates and win. Um, but obviously on paper, they kind of need to. Um, but I, I, honestly, I think that Arsenal would be pretty happy with a point from this game. Although I'm sure if they won it, then the title is really theirs to lose, if not already. But I've gone for a one-all draw. Such a tough one to call. I honestly don't know which way that's going to go. So I've just gone for a pretty standard one all. Um, but there are the predictions for the upcoming game week 23. Let me know what your predictions are down below. Um, we don't really have much of an update on the website because there hasn't been any Premier League games since the previous uh, fixtures video. Um, but I will quickly jump over to the FA Cup section because it was FA Cup weekend last week. So guys, here is the FA Cup um, section of the league. You can see me, I'm just here. I had an okay week. I got quite a few scores correct on Sunday and then uh, I think Derby West Ham was actually on the Monday but we got quite a few two pointers here annoyingly I didn't back either of my um, my bonus teams so I had Burnley to win at Ippy and we also had Fulham to beat Sunderland which ended up as a draw which was really really frustrating you can see there was a couple of four-pointers. My dad actually got a double bubble, six-pointer for Accrington Leeds, um, which helped him climb up the table. But if we head up to the current standings, we're in joint third at the moment. There's a lot of people on 38 points. We're in a decent position. Obviously, we've lost our main bonus team in Arsenal. 
and we could lose Ipswich as well. They've got to go to Turf Moor for a replay and one of Fulham and Sunderland will be out as well. So I have a feeling that come the quarterfinals we may only have one side left being either Fulham or Sunderland. Um, I'd quite fancy Fulham if, if they can get through the um, the replay at the stadium a lot. I'd fancy them to possibly go on. I'm not sure. I know the draw's already been made. I'm not sure who they're meant to face if they get through. Um, but we could do with Ipswich somehow going to Turf more and winning as well. But that'll do for this video, guys. Not too much of an update because, like I say, there hasn't been any Premier League matches since the previous uh, Premier League predictions video. So that will do it. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll catch you soon for some more football predictions. Peace.